Hi everyone and welcome to today's Spree Into Action video. It's the second to last one today, which is crazy that we're already almost to the last section, which the last section is going to be a little bit longer because of the context of it. So be prepared for a longer video next week. But let's work on this section, which honestly, hands down, is my second favorite section. The last section is my favorite section I did and I'm honestly really proud of it. So, and don't mind the extra noises upstairs. My mom is working on the third floor for my sister who's moving in. But anywho, let's talk about cleaning our schedules. One of my favorite things to talk about. I love all things planning and organizing and all that. So, um, I made this little cover page here that just says planners, time management, organization, routines, me time, just bullet journal, pretty supplies, and social time. Just different keywords that whenever I think of my schedule, that's what I think of. It's just that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, again, this one's really short, but really needed, and I feel like all of us should have this kind of style when it comes to planning. So, have days dedicated to your different priorities in life. Like Sundays is when you clean your house and do laundry, while Mondays are for emails and filming. So for me, I kind of wrote down my ideal uh, weekly routine in here, and I'm just going to share it with you guys. So Mondays for me is when I have class. Every day, or not every day, every week on Monday, um, I have class at 11 a.m., excluding holidays. So like in a couple of weeks, it'll be Columbus Day weekend. I don't have class, but I still do have assignments due. Um, but I always just remember that every single Monday I have to have the mindset to be ready for class. And then this is also the day that after I have class, I plan out my classwork and homework for the rest of the week up until the next Monday because it's kind of like a self-paced class. Um, so I always try to plan out what I need to do. Um, this is just an example of something I do is I just write down all the notes that I have to take when I have to study and the discussion questions, etc. Um, I just write a big list and I do them on the days that I do homework. Um, I do sometimes do homework that day, so that's where I put slash homework. Um, and then every single Monday I want to, this is a want and a need, honestly, um, I want to do a weekly email clean out on Mondays. I feel like that would be the perfect day to do it, just to start off the week, just like going through the emails and just cleaning everything out. I'm actually planning on doing this today, um, but every single Monday I do want to do this. So that's something that I'm looking forward to. And then on Tuesdays, um, that's the day when I meet with my peer support worker. That's the day that I've set myself. I always try to pick a day for this person um, whenever I meet with them, just so that I know Tuesdays are the days that I meet with her. So I put that in my schedule. I also work on homework. Um, and then this is also a day where I work on my new workbooks and projects, and I also do research on Skillshare, so it's like that kind of mix. So that's something I'm working on today, on Tuesday. On Wednesdays, one of my favorite days of the week, um, I have Creative Quarantine that I um, facilitate and run, and most weeks we have it on 12 p.m. Sometimes we change it to 11 or later in the day on Wednesdays, or sometimes we do it on Thursdays. It kind of depends on when everyone in my group is available. We try to make it, though, as the time slot for Creative Quarantine at 12 every single Wednesday. Um, and then I also have a writing group that I meet with uh, from 2.30 to 4 every single Wednesday. And Wednesdays are also now going to be my mini gist days. I used to just do it whenever I felt like it um, in terms of cleaning. But I feel like having a designated day would really help. Um, so this is the day that I would wash my bedding, do a whole skincare routine, and clean up the first floor and bathrooms. Um, and I would also do, I have um, two different types of shampoos that I use. So I would use my anti-dandruff shampoo, the more hardworking one on Wednesdays and Sundays that we'll talk about. But um, yeah, so that's like my mini get your shit together day is what I like to call it. Um, we'll talk more about just days in a minute. Um, and then on Thursdays, I record and upload my podcast episodes for the podcast I'm doing with my friend John. I will try to remember, but if I don't remember, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'll leave a link to the new podcast that I have with my friend 
John. It's called A Deep Dive and our first episode aired a, about a few days ago on Thursday and it was all about Shane Dawson and everything going on with that. So if you haven't checked that out, feel free to do so. We're doing really well in terms of views, but I would really hope that you guys would want to check that out. Anywho, and then Thursdays are also my homework day. Um, it's just like a big study day. Um, I might have extra appointments throughout the week too. I don't include that. I just, as long as these three things get done that day, I feel like I had a productive day. And then also Thursday nights is when I like, um, when my family and I take out the trash. Mostly me, but my parents move their cars and I bring the trash out, etc. So I always make sure that that's a priority every single week so I don't forget. And then on Fridays, I do more homework. It's also the day I like to clean my bedroom, um, organize and you know, do some cleaning if it needs to, like vacuuming and stuff, which I need to do this week, and some dusting and all that kind of stuff. So just focusing on cleaning my bedroom um, is on Fridays. And then I do more skill scare, skill share research. <laughs> oh my goodness. And just overall any other uh, research. I meant to put a slash there because um, it, I could do Skillshare or I just could do overall research on YouTube or whatever. And then for weekends, my top three. Uh, Saturdays, I help family with any housework that needs to get done. Um, we haven't been doing a lot recently, but this week especially, I'll be helping my sister move in, so that'll be definitely something I need to help them out with. Uh, it's also family day. Sometimes we do stuff together, sometimes not. It kind of depends on the day. But this is also a day that I do homework and I study um, and designate time for to do that. And then Sundays are really chill. I have my gist day, which is when I plan out my week ahead. Um, this is also when I do my laundry and I do self-care Sunday, which I'll talk about that on the next page. We'll talk about gist days. Also, football games happen on Sunday, so family time is also a thing. Sometimes we have parties on Sundays or whatever, so I always make sure that that's put in. And for football games, me and my family are doing fantasy football together. So I try to make sure that I at least, you know, spend time with the family, but also see how my people are doing so that I can win points. So on the next page, um, so have a just day. Get your shit together day. So every week, basically you get all your cleaning tasks, planning for the week, and weekly self-care habits done, like face masks, a bath, pedicure, etc. So write and sketch or sketch out your ideal gist day. So I wrote mine out. Mine typically consists of planning out my upcoming week or month. If it's like the last Sunday of the month, I will plan out the month ahead. Um, but if it's just a normal week, I'll just, you know, plan out the week. I also do laundry on these days. Um, this is for this. This is just talking about my Sundays, um, not my Wednesday routine. And then I do self-care Sunday, so I do my skin care. I take a bath or shower. This is also the day that if I feel like it, I'll shave my legs. Um, I also do art journaling, and I do some sort of spiritual thing, whether it's a tarot card reading, meditation, uh, spiritual ritual, or just read a spiritual book. I also make sure to take family time, whether it's at dinner, we all sit down for dinner for Sunday night dinner, or we um, do something during the day. And also, I've always, I will always do this on Sundays watch a Disney movie. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I think of Sunday after a long day of just like getting your stuff together, I just want to curl up and watch a Disney movie. I don't know. That's just me. And then um, this last section here is really, really important. So of course, being productive and having your shit together is great and having a weekly routine and a morning routine and a night routine and all that, which we've already talked about in a previous section. But schedule in me time where you do things that you enjoy and make yourself happy every day. What activities can you choose from to do during your me time? When can you have your me time? Where would you do it? So I wrote out a list of activities and also when and where I would do it. So uh, for me during me time, I like to journal or I like to do a tarot reading or I'll read I'll do doodling or artwork if I feel like it. I will color. Um, I sometimes will watch a show like Catfish has been my show recently. I don't know. I don't know why, but I've just been obsessed with it. Or I'll watch like a Disney movie or just a different kind of movie. 
I'll update my music playlist sometimes if I feel called to do it. I will meditate. Um, I will do spiritual rituals. Or I'll make bracelets. I haven't done this in a while, but I added this to my list so that I can remind myself to, you know, if I feel like it. And say if I haven't done it in a long time, which I haven't, um, I can make some bracelets for the people that I care about in my life. Um, and then when I like to do it. So I like to have me time in the morning. Uh, so I would like to do it during my morning routine. That is definitely something like journaling I could do, reading I could do, uh, or meditation. Um, after work is done, so around like 4, 5, 6 o'clock, I want to do one of these things. And then 8 to 9.30 is when I have, you know, it's like before my night routine, and it's just kind of that leeway of like, there's nothing really to do. Sometimes I video chat friends, but oftentimes they're busy, so, or I'll video chat my boyfriend and I can do one of these. Um, and then where? So I could do these in my bedroom, I could do these outside, the journaling, the coloring, the reading, the meditation, those could be outside, even making bracelets too or artwork, um, or just go on the porch and again do those same things. So that is that section, and like I said, the next section is literally this whole, all these pages. So be prepared for that next week. But until then, I hope that you guys enjoyed this clean your schedule section of the Spring Into Action series. Let me know how you clean up your schedule. Let me know how you like to plan out your week or your day. Uh, let me know if you do a gist style day or if you do a gist day. And also let me know what you like to do during your me time. I hope you guys enjoyed this section and I can't wait to see you guys next week. I am so bittersweet about this that it's going to be the end of the series. But I'm also really excited because there will be another one of these once my second workbook is released. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.